Hey guys, I hope everyone out there is safe and doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in. I wanted to review this raspberry syrup uh, from Torani. I hope I'm saying that right. If I'm butchering it, I apologize. I got this for $7.99 at World Market. And if you don't have a World Market, a good place to go is Bed Bath & Beyond and Home Goods. Also places like Bell's Outlet, um, Marshall's, TJ Maxx, Ross, places like that. You can also go online, but you're going to pay more and you're going to pay for shipping maybe um, and risk the bottle being broken or missing, delivered to the wrong house, God forbid. Um, Amazon, eBay, Walmart.com, Torani.com. Uh, any store that you like, go to their website, see if they can deliver it to the store for free for you, and you could just do a pickup. Uh, not sponsored or affiliated with anybody, you guys. I just buy stuff and share it with you. Here's the nutrition facts. This is not keto-friendly. I repeat, not keto-friendly or keto, okay? Why? Look at that. Okay? Think about it. You can make handcrafted sodas, iced teas, lemonades. It's these two is what I do. Um, so I'm on a low carb diet. I like to enjoy this sometimes, you guys. If you do buy the original or the sugar free, these are not something. This is not something I would consume every single day, especially if you buy the original with these high numbers here. This is something I like to enjoy on my days off. I'll have a glass with dinner, maybe. Uh, I made some uh, cold brew um, butterfly pea tea. Okay. Uh, I made a, I got a review on my channel if you want to go check that out. Uh, it's This tea is very beneficial. Uh, it has a lot of benefits. If you don't know about butterfly pea tea, uh, Google it and you'll see all the benefits. Um, so anyway, uh, here's the ingredients. Okay, not a lot of ingredients, but there's a few chemicals in there. All right. And we're going to do the... Now, when you smell, see? When you smell this, it smells absolutely amazing. It smells like fresh pureed raspberries. Like you went to produce, bought some raspberries, took them home and pureed them. Smell that aroma. You know how raspberries smell. They, they have that potent aroma that I really just enjoy. Even if you buy frozen, let those thaw off, puree them, and you still get the same smell. Um, so it's not thick, it's not thin, but be careful with this syrup because it will stain. I'm going to put some in a spoon to show you. Sorry for the shaking, I can't find my tripod. Okay, you guys, this is what it looks like. You see? It smells absolutely amazing. You see my counter? It stained it. Yeah, that was that. So I left it and it. I, I forgot about it. So we're going to taste that. It tastes like fresh raspberries were pureed. It's sweet. So be careful with it. Um, I really enjoy the taste and the smell. It's absolutely amazing. It also reminds me of those raspberry filled jelly donuts that we get from Dunkin Donuts okay it is true to its raspberry flavor it is absolutely you don't get no bitterness it's it's sweet okay I'll tell you that right now um, it does not give you a nasty aftertaste it, it's just the sweetness dying down that's all no artificial taste no nothing it's like they took raspberries, pureed them, and put some sugar in there. That's about it. I really like it. Now, buying sugar-free is a little scary because they can be a hit and miss. Especially at this price, I'm a little scared. But if I ever find a sugar-free... You know what? I'm going to try to look for it. Uh, the sugar-free raspberry. And I'm going to buy that, and I'm going to review that for you guys. But... I'm only going to buy it if it's cheaper than $7.99 because if I don't like it, I'm out $8. Because um, sugar-free stuff tends to taste like 
nasty cough sh cough syrup, okay? And that's not, it's not also a money thing. It's also being wasteful. Somebody else could have used that bottle and I bought it and threw it away. I don't like to do that. So if I find a sugar-free raspberry and it's under, under six bucks, I'll buy it and review it for you guys. Um, but I highly recommend this to enjoy once in a while. What I do is I, I never put in this much, never. I put in one teaspoon in my glass, I pour my tea, and I mix it, add some ice, and I got a nice drink with, with dinner, you know. So uh, this is really good. And the raspberry taste does linger in the mouth. And it does linger in the tea. So it's not like it goes away or anything. That's my review, you guys. I hope you stay safe. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Take care.